hey guys welcome to protocol dash point okay so in this photo tutorial we're gonna check out a common error that has been faced by a beginner photo app developer okay so here i have created a app and it has a evaluation button uh, which when it has been pressed it need to show a sneaky bar on our screen so this is the sneaky bar code okay so but what is happening is when a button is been pressed as you can see there is an error the error says that a scaffold of called with a context that does not contain a scaffold okay so this exception happens because you are using a context of a widget that is instantiated with a, a scaffold but not the context of a child okay so to solve this what we need to do is you need to move this button outside this build okay so that you can make use of other another context other than this okay so you need to move this what i will do is i will just create one more scaffold status widget okay and i will just name it as button because we are so we are using this to just to show a button and after that i will just copy this button code just cut it and I will cut paste it over here okay sorry I made a mistake by copying I will just undo it okay I need to also take this one cut and I will paste it over here and give a semicolon okay so now what is happening is this state state OS widget has its own context so now you can make this context to show a sneaky bar okay so now here in a center widget I need to just call this state OS widget okay so just copy it over here and done okay so now if i restart our app and when i press on this button so as you can see there is a sneaky bar it has a icon and a text widget and a duration i have set it to 15 seconds you can make it 5 seconds you can customize it as per your needs okay so now this was the first way to do it so let's move to a second uh, way uh, but I want to just update you that this method is deprecated and is there is no need to use this for, for sure future use future development so Flutter has been updated with its version to use this so now the latest version is what we need to do is here you can create an instance of your sneaky bar so to do that what you can do is you can just initialize a variable or an instance object and name it as Nikki bar okay Nikki bar Nikki bar and the context here in our case our context I will just keep a text over here I will just print a message okay and then I can use this to snow a sneaky bar so for now what I will do is I will just create one more button over here so I will just wrap it into a column widget main access alignment center okay so now here as you can see I have moved the first button outside the uh, scaffold widget so now I can use this by my making use of this I can easily do it by over here only so I can just make use of elevation button on press
okay and the child child will be a text can give name as news sneaky bar okay and just give a comma over here and when this second button is been pressed i need to show a sneaky bar this this one so for that what i can do is i can make use of scaffold messenger dot off context and the context dot show sneaky bar and the sneaky bar instance or you can call it as object okay so previously what we have to do is we were you, you doing is you are using of this statement to show sneaky bar so the our twitter version has been updated so now it is with messenger scaffold messenger dot off context and just by doing this you can show a sneaky bar so i will just restart our app okay so as you can see over here there is a second button so, so to show this sneaky bar so when i press on this a new way to show sneaky bar okay so if we go in this sneaky bar class and as you can see these are the predefined uh, parameters that you can pass but duration as you can see the duration is of 4 seconds so when i press on this this sneaky bar will be available for you for a 4 second okay so as you can see i have not defined the property of sneaky bar so it is working for 4 second you can customize it just by making use of duration duration seconds you can set it to 1 you can say you can set it to 1 okay and if you want to add a button over here what you can do is you can make use of action property sneaky bar action okay so in sneaky bar action uh, you there are two properties that you need to add the one first property is on press and the child on press okay and then the child means a text to it label sorry label okay so now if i run this you can see when i press on this button you can see a sneaky bar it has a button at the bottom okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept to how to solve the uh, scaffold of context error and how to make use of this new way of uh, adding a sneaky bar to your twitter app okay thank you please do subscribe protocoders point